Now, your news on the go. This morning, there are rumors that migrants have moved into the Candlewood Suites in the town of Salina. A tenant living there claims asylum seekers are staying there, but there's no evidence any migrants have moved in. A spokesperson for the New York City mayor tells us no migrants have gone to Salina from their program. State police confirm they've pulled a body from the water at Jamesville Beach Park. This comes as troopers tell us it was found by canine units near a retention pond where people typically fish. It's still unconfirmed, but police say it is the same area where a man reportedly went for a walk Tuesday night and didn't come home. The West Hill School District has agreed to stop using the name Warriors by June 2025 unless an extension is granted by the Commissioner of Education. The district wants feedback on a new name and logo, or both, from the community students and alumni. Up until now, West Hill has been the Warriors using the Roman-inspired use of the word. Road closures start today around Clinton Square for the Juneteenth Festival this weekend. Beginning at 1, parts of Clinton Street, Erie Boulevard West, and West Water Street will close through Sunday morning. We have good news on the gas front this morning. One year ago today, Syracuse saw its highest average for a gallon. We were paying $4.97. Today, we're paying $3.68. That's $1.29 less. The Subway Series is split. The Mets defeating the Yankees 4-3 to, to even up the rivalry. The two New York teams won't face each other again until the end of July for another two-game series. From the diamond to the green, the U.S. Open starts today. Golfers will tee off later this morning at the Los Angeles Country Club. As of now, Scotty Scheffler is the favorite to win. If you live in Lafayette or Tully, beware. A black bear is on the move. According to the DEC, it's maybe one or two years old and learning how to survive on its own. If you see it, they say take away any food sources, take down bird feeders, and don't leave trash out. Luke Bryan is playing it again tonight at the St. Joseph's Health Amphitheater at Lakeview. He's kicking off his country on tour right here in Syracuse. The concert starts at 7, gates open at 5.30, and at last check, tickets were still available.